What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. Today is June the 1st, and we are jumping into the daily Legendary and Master Lost Sector. Today's Lost Sector can be found on the Cosmodrome, and it will send you off into the Veil's Labyrinth. Not necessarily known for being a fast Lost Sector, but with exotic helmets up for grabs, I know that all of you Warlocks out there have been waiting for a good chance to get the Xenotaph Mask Exotic Helmet. And there's plenty of other great exotics that you can farm for today. We'll be breaking down today's Lost Sector in its entirety to make your exotic farm as simple and efficient as possible. Vale's Labyrinth is a bit off the beaten path, as you'll have to head to the Forgotten Shore to get to this Lost Sector. And when this Lost Sector begins, you'll need to navigate through a short labyrinth that requires you to activate tiny hive runes. These are relatively easy to find, and only spawn in one of two different patterns, so you shouldn't have many difficulties on that front. There will be barrier champions and unstoppables to deal with today, and plenty of exploding cursed thrall. The first half of this law sector puts you in a pretty confined space, and since your enemy receives a bonus to arc damage, you'll want to utilize arc resistance and concussive dampener mods. Void resistance will be beneficial as well, since the blasts from unstoppable ogres and shriekers can be very painful. There will be a few arc shielded knights to go along with the barrier knights. You'll get a bonus towards arc and void damage today and kinetic weapons will be overcharged when running either of these subclasses. Since most of you will be at least 10 to 15 levels below 1830, I highly recommend the use of either the Malfeasance or the Wishender. Each of these are equipped to handle champions, and the Malfeasance just got Vorpal added to its catalyst, making it an extremely powerful weapon right now. Alternatively, the Centrifuge Arc Auto Rifle will be a fantastic choice, and even though Exotic Bows received a nerf, Trinity Ghoul or Leviathan's Breath can be great exotics for today. Even though Arc and Void get a boost to damage, I find that in this Lost Sector, Stasis and Strand will benefit you the most so that you can either freeze or suspend your enemies when you're having to engage in close quarter combat. And for that reason, Wave Frame Grenade Launchers can be a fantastic choice, especially when running something like the Forbearance that has Chain Reaction or Harsh Language, which can come with Destabilizing Ram. Your best bet is to play extremely passively from a distance through each of these sections before you make your way up to the top where the unstoppable ogre and boss area are. Be sure to take down the shrieker, this way it doesn't get in the way later on. Even at 15 levels under the suggested light level, you should be able to clear the legendary variation of Vale's Labyrinth in around 7 to 8 minutes, if not faster. It's not a glorious 2-3 to three minute farm today, but it's still early in the season, and it's hard to pass up on an opportunity to farm for exotic helmets when there's so many great ones available, especially for Warlocks with the Xenotaph. And with that being said, I wish you all the best of luck throughout your day of exotic farming. Let me know how it's going in the comments below, and let me know what your thoughts of the Vale's Labyrinth are, and let me know what loadout you decided on. Thank you as always for checking out the video. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, then be sure to hit that like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated, and both really do help support the channel. And until next time, Guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy hunting.